We have officers inside the LegCo defending LegCo for nearly eight hours. During the period, uh, we have been under siege of the um, protesters. They keep on using uh, violent tactics to try to intrude into the uh, LegCo. It is, not, it is only until nine o'clock at night time. Uh, there were several incidents happen that make uh, that we have to do a temporary uh, retreat. First of all, uh, there were many protesters outside um, the Lechko uh, main entrance, and they are starting uh, using violent tactics uh, to uh, charge uh, the inner uh, door of the uh, Lechko. Secondly, um, due to the um, uh, local environment, um, the, uh, that uh, we are unable uh, to use uh, some of the force that we can use in open ground. And thirdly, we found that there were some protesters tampering with the electricity box, and we find that some of the lights have gone out. And in fear of a total dark out, that the protester, while charging in, someone turn off the light. I'm afraid that there will be um, people stepping people, or there will be um, a wrong move on either side, both the police and the protester. And lastly, but not the least, during the charging, they throw in some uh, white smoke. That, uh, as you know, in the afternoon, there were already a, a toxic uh, powder. Um, attack on my officer in the afternoon. So, without knowing whether this is another toxic uh, powder attack, we have no other choice but to temporarily retreat from Lechko. And by the time 9 o'clock, we, are, have, we have been told that all working staff have left. That, that means that we are sure there is no other civilian within the building. So our, my officers have no choice but to temporarily retreat and to do a regrouping and try to redeployment, uh, do some redeployment to take back Let's Go later on. Are you setting a trap for the And Mr. Sain, sorry, I, I, I have a second question for you. Do you think that person would be a responsible? It is not true to say that the government has not responded. Um, we have not responded to every demand asked because of uh, good reasons. Now, first of all, uh, if the cause of the social tensions that we have seen is a bill to amend the Fugitive Offenders Ordinance, on the 15th of June, I have announced the suspension of the bill. And subsequently, we have explained and elaborated by suspending the bill at this point in time with no timetable and no plan to resume the debate of the bill in the Legislative Council. The bill will expire or the bill will die in July 2020 when the current electrical term expires. That is a very positive response to the demands that we have heard. As for some of the other demands, let me come back to this very important principle of the rule of law. To demand the government to release without any investigation and checking with the uh, law about whether offences have been made, that we should release everybody uh, arrested, we should not take any follow-up action against some of the violent acts we have seen, or even to grant an amnesty to all those involved in these protests. All these responses will not be in accordance with the rule of law.